Look over my shoulder and watch as I create a 30 second nature observation for Nature's Wild Things. See my workflow process for transforming raw video footage and photos into something ready for publishing. These raw videos and photos are from a photo walk on August 25th, 2016 in Cabarrus County, North Carolina in the United States. The walk was in my North Carolina Creekside Nature Preserve. Okay, let's take a look at our uh, photo walk from August and uh, we're going to do a 30 second nature video today on thread wasted wasps mating and uh, we've got a combination of photos and videos here today just some beautiful beautiful photos of uh, the thread wasted uh, wasp along with some uh, interesting video um, so to produce our video, we're going to actually drag a photo down to the photo line here. And we're going to do multiple cuts today instead of just working with one cut. And uh, I think we're going to do it in an order like this. So we introduce the video, the subject matter. We... Uh, start off with a video that gives them oh maybe not a super good view but it gives them an idea of what may be going on here then we'll go to this video here which will give them a little better view of what's going on and then I think what we'll do is We'll try to decide between these two photographs. I think we'll use this one here today. We'll use this photograph as our ending photograph. And that all comes out a little over, the raw cut here comes out a little over 30 seconds here, 31 seconds. All right, uh, let's take an work with our here we can get an idea of what we're working with there so we'll uh, Start off there. And let's cut off some of the end of that. All right, let's take a look at this. It starts off just a little bit fuzzy there. So let's go beyond the fuzzy point and uh, okay taking off and going off screen and panning looking for him let's take that part off there we go just uh, and then we have the photograph okay so now we're down to uh, under 25 seconds let's just uh, do some things with this piece right here let's take and make it uh, custom length here it's four seconds long uh, it's 2.14 seconds long now and uh, just change that duration a little bit and make it just a, a little bit uh, longer there. And 
and uh, that's going to slow down the action a little bit. How long is the end clip here? The end clip is just a little over four seconds long. Let me just make them about the same. All right, and uh, Let's start with this one. We've we've got a composure that's a little lacking here. Everything's off to the right. So we want to, and yet the motion doesn't move around the screen. It's all happening in the one spot. So let's move and turn on our controls, make sure we're on video, make sure we've got the selection that we want down here, and let's look at a crop here. And sometimes with the crop, we've got to make the video a little bit smaller in the middle so that we can grab the handlebars. And now, if we don't want to move it off screen like that, we want to. Try to keep our selection on screen so we don't have a black bar in the video. Let's take a look at that now. That, that does the job of putting it centered in the screen. Allowing people just to get a glimpse of what may be going on here. And we go to this one. All right, we've got several ways we can handle this, I think. Um, I think we're going to select it, go up here, and do a Ken Burns effect. And uh, I think we'll start full screen. And the pair fly off up into the upper right hand corner. So let's uh, let's see what this would look like. So we'll take the it has the effect of we're zooming in, we're zooming in. We're actually predicting where he's gonna go, or where they're gonna go. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's take and look at what we've got here. We've got them flying off. We've got a photograph, but with a photograph we can put a Ken Burns effect on too. And I'm just wondering which would be the 
the best effect to use here. Uh, I'm going to go to Ken Burns. Do we start zoomed in or do we start with the full picture? Let's start with the full picture and end zoomed in here. Let's zoom in on their, their head. So now over the course of about five seconds, it'll zoom in and allow you to really see the way they're connected together here by uh, grabbing the neck of the other one there. I like that. <clears throat> And uh, let's start with this one here too and do a Ken Burns here. And uh, let's start with the full frame and let's just zoom in on the beautiful wasp here. So we start off full frame zoom in switch to a glimpse of our two together the better shots of our two together We're 27 seconds long and uh, we have an option of doing something a little bit different here. I'm going to uh, take and actually turn on a little razor blade here that's going to allow me to actually cut the video into two pieces here. Let's go back to a pointer. So now I have a, another piece of video. Let's zoom in and look here at what's going on a little bit. And uh, command and the plus key allows us to zoom in on our timeline to see what's going. The minus key zooms out, the plus key zooms in. So we've got a separate little clip here now that is just them flying off. Hmm, but we lost our we lost our Ken Burns effect. It went back to full screen. And there's a whole separate Ken Burns. Let's command Z takes and removes changes that we made. So I took the blade cut off and have left it <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take and make the whole section a little bit longer here to give us back our couple seconds that we're looking for here. Uh, let's go to duration. <clears throat> now let's look at what we've got. We've got uh, actually about 31 seconds Just 
Video editing, video editing is all about decisions and uh, there are a million ways to create a video, a million ways to uh, do different aspects of the video and it's all about what you want aesthetically. Um, is it got to be slowed down to really observe what's going on? Does it have to be lengthened? Does it have to be uh, cut? Uh, parts of the clips cut off, parts left on, which parts? Uh, video editing is all about decisions and uh, you can experiment and uh, play with different things like I've been doing here with this video. But the ultimate goal is to create a, as neat an observation as you can get And sometimes simple is better. I'm not sure we have a simple video here. But uh, I think we're getting close. One of the decisions you make is the transition from a clip or a photograph to another clip or photograph. And a hard break is what we're seeing here and I like to uh, use a transition effect called a cross dissolve and when we drop that on to the the break it has the effect of fading and transitioning from one photograph to another or or to a a clip there I just really like that effect better than the, the chop. Sometimes the chop is just fine for when you're moving boom, boom, boom from frame to frame. Um, but uh, let's take a look. So you see how it dissolves right into the, to the next clip. And let's take an add across dissolve there. Just a little bit long with a still photo here at the end. I have the option of just uh, just <laughs> fine tune the, the length of the the clip by just fine tuning the length there. And if we put a cross dissolve on the very end, it has the effect of dissolving to black when there's not a media clip at the next uh, section there it just dissolves to black all right well let's look at what we've got here and I believe we have our next 30 second nature video All right, in our final review here, I've noticed just a couple little problems. We've got audio showing up on a couple of our clips, so we have to literally grab the audio track and slide it to zero so that we've taken out the noise of the airplane in this case flying <laughs> overhead. It, I would just love to leave the nature sounds on my videos and I do when it's nature but so often times in an urban environment it's not nature it's something else it's airplanes trucks traffic noise uh, just a very polluted audio environment in an urban setting so we have to make sure that we take the audio and turn it off on our clips all right. Thanks for watching. <laughs>